Um, hello, uh, my name is Alan Cross and uh, I'm recording a, another lecture from my kitchen that's in relation to um, my dissertation Legality and Social Responsibility that covered a number of issues to do with ethics, metaphysics, um, utilitarianism, but also um, the philosophy of law and in this case uh, uh, organic law, physiology, and um, I'd like to record this lecture about um, the work I've done on, on oncology and uh, oncology theory, and um, um, it all originated when I was in, from my dissertation, when I wrote about the, the Stone of David hypothesis, the, um, that, um, that you could uh, use, use viruses to target um, like like the stone of david the 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 weak part of um um both um viruses and cancers and um this is where I originally realized that viruses and cancers were linked together that they were coevolutional or um in the example i gave uh, that they were a bit like the film alien versus predator they uh, when they merged the two franchises um, I know it's a bit of a Hollywood example, but you can maybe not your favourite movie, but um, you you can see how the, the there was a fundamental link developing, and therefore um, they they start using modified viruses to attack cancer, um, topically uh, skin cancer and so forth, um, because um, the, the 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 viruses seem seem to be like a key to unlock the, the the dna of of the cancer um this was an organic solution as opposed to a synthetic solution or a poisoning of the body with chemotherapy a, a much more humane much more effective um uh, approach um and therefore therefore they developed uh, topical viruses trained to attack skin cancer but more advanced cancers seem to be um, something that that was um, a bit uh, underpowered by the the current treatment. But um, they're more difficult as they're not actually attached to um, the skin. They're not actually uh, a, an external cancer, as a, but they're an internal cancer, and therefore uh, a topical approach is more complicated. Um, under my hypothesis, a cancer is provoked by uh, a poison viral emulator in the sense that it's an external poison that's had a viral effect on the body, has come through a, a viral um, medium of transmission and um, caused a reaction. And that reaction, that hypoallergenic reaction that I I, I, I I speculate to do with a glycemic reaction or a sugar reaction um, is, is like a dance between a kind of knight in the middle of the board, the black knight on the chessboard and the, 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 the pieces that the black knight has uh, attracted. Um, but you don't actually see the effect. All you see is the reaction, which is the cancer and not the, the, the mysterious um protagonist um th therefore this is why um this glycemic reaction is why modified viruses recognized um cancers in uh and could train the immune system because um they, they fell within the remit of the the same coevolutional origin um so it's a dance of mirror images uh the knight in the center of the chessboard um now, um, the main problem I, I, I hypothesize about cancer is, is it's um, similar to the coronavirus in that it's developed a golden mean of development. Um, um, with with the, the coronavirus, it was a perfect storm between transmission and, and, um, and um, sort, of, uh, sort of severity. With can cancer, the, the 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 ratio of the development of cancers it seems to have that kind of uh, unstoppable perfect storm, 
Um, but the, the answer is understanding the individual biopsies of the cancer because even in different parts of the body it would be have a unique fingerprint on the DNA and um, and, a, 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 and a, a viral attack would seem to be the the, 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 the the most practical thing to disrupt this perfect storm of development. And this would change the, the rate of development of um, different parts of the cancer in order to um, to divide and conquer to a degree and um, disrupting this golden mean. And, and then, unfortunately, because the, the viral attack would have a, a certain um, stimulative effect, um, the... You, you would need um, some kind of um, laser that would uh, be uh, a gene desequencing laser, in, in some sense, uh, a laser that would um, deconstruct the, the weakened cancer, like, like, like letting down tent poles in a tent in a, in a certain order that would, uh, would be uh, calculated by a computer simulation. Um, um, I speculated on a, a wild or organic number, by which I meant um, a number that's not 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 easily divisible into into a kind of an, an algorithm or a, 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 some other kind of equation. So, uh, um, uh, now there, there, there's 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 more endemic cancers that seem to spread from a, p a point of origin and for example bone cancers and and more endemic kind of uh, cancers and these seem to be more systematically being spread like a systematic reaction like a, a poison reaction that has a kind of domino effect um, a kind of syndromatic cancer that's different from the other types of cancers so we've got we've got the topical We've got the um, we've got the chronic, or and we've got the endemic. Um, anyway, um, for philosophy can only take you so far in the terms of the theory to do with oncology. But um, I recorded this lecture as a part of um, a kind of public knowledge kind of aspect to it. Um, I've written before on the subject and. Uh, also for those I've I've written to. Okay, thank you very much.